AITA for banning my to-be mother-in-law from the wedding. I, 25M, am going to be marrying my lovely fiancé, 27F, in six months. Let's call her Gabrielle, G. She's fantastic, love her to bits, and am excited as hell for the wedding. Her mother, M, however, is, and this is mutually agreed upon by us, an abuser. For as long as I've known G, every couple of months, they will get into a fight fabricated by M, culminating in M sending vile things to G, I encourage G to stand up for herself, however, she hand waves this abuse, after being incredibly upset for a time of course, since M is the only parent that she has. Throughout wedding planning, M has flipped between helpful, to toxic. For brevity, I'll avoid examples, but this oft has surrounded money, and how she has put so much towards the wedding. But, this has almost always been contingent on doing what M wants with the money, often outside our budget and what we want at the wedding. In most cases though, we just give in. It then gets lorded over us how much she is contributing. Any pushback over ideas that M has is immediately responded to with a tirade on a disrespect and how much she has contributed, how we should be grateful etc. This has mutually annoyed G and I to no end. It came to a head today. M wanted to pay for a thing she really wanted, but then explicitly said that she wouldn't pay for something else that she wanted and we didn't. G, with my support, presented some pushback, which went down the familiar path of disrespect. However, this time it got vile, personal, and about as abusive as you can get in text format. It was shared with me, by G, and was one of the most disgusting passages of text I've ever read. M said she wasn't going to come to the wedding, and demanded we give back the money she already provided. My immediate response to G was that I don't want to negotiate with someone playing the emotional blackmail card. She could have the money back and that's that. G tended to agree, saying that if that's what the mother really wanted, she couldn't stop her. However, M tried to will everything back a few hours later, pretending the abuse didn't happen. However, I was done with it at this point. We're this far out from the wedding, her behavior was spiraling. I have a personal gripe with bullies and abusers, so I was ropeable, previously I was only hanging on for G's sake. With this, I told G that I wouldn't accept this wheel back from M, and she wasn't to come. She can have her money back, that's that. G understands where I'm coming from and is accepting of this, however of course is still somewhat upset that it has come to this, and that M, who has said is her only parent, cannot come to the wedding. I refuse however to share a wedding with an out and out abuser who has for years, terrorized G to no end, and bringing no end of strife to the wedding planning process with her consistent emotional abuse of both of us. So, AITA, 